Hey, good morning, Joe here. It's Firearms Friday. We're in the ammo dump shooting range as we are most Fridays. Today I want to introduce you to a brand new firearm we just got in. This is a brand new Smith & Wesson 5.7. Shoots 5.7 by 28 millimeter cartridges. Now you've probably heard me talk about 5.7 by 28 guns before, but this is a brand new concept just released at SHOT Show last month in Las Vegas. This is a brand new patent because it has a complete new design for a barrel. The barrel is encased in a shroud here, and if you can see just a little bit of it as I'm going to release the slide, there's a locking lug right here that actually rotates, and there's a, a hole inside the barrel, so this barrel stays in position until the cartridge actually gets past that gas hole, and then the bolt unlocks and the slide works to the rear. Why is that good, Joe? Well, simply because this makes the whole gun a little less prone to recoil so you can get back on target quicker, which is the whole idea. So this is a really fine gun. We just got these in this past week. Uh, this gun holds 22 rounds plus one in the chamber if you want to go that route. It's also cut already for an optic, and it has really nice sights already on it. So you don't even need an optic if you don't want to, but it's already cut for an optic, ready to add your favorite Vortec, Red Dot, whatever you, uh, kind of optic you'd like to add to that. So today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to shoot this into the chronograph. Well, you've seen us do that before, but not only we're we going to shoot into the chronograph, we're going to shoot into 10% ballistic gel. Now, a little background on 10% ballistic gel. This is what the FBI uses when they do an investigation into a firearms crime, when they need to determine something about the firearm or the ammo. So that 10% ballistic gel is designed to simulate a human body. So that 10% consistency means that's what your body would do if your bullet was shot into your body. So that, there's also 20% ballistic gel, which is used in NATO. We don't care about that today. We care about the 10% ballistic gel, which is what our FBI uses. So today we're going to shoot one shot into the chronograph, take a look at the uh, speed of the bullet, and then we're going to go take a look at the ballistic gel. And to make sure we do this right, we've got Nick with us today. Nick, come on up. Nick's going to be our shooter today. You've seen Nick on previous videos. Does a great job with us. He's ready to go. Okay, one shot, and according to the chronograph here, we shot at 18 to 31 feet per second. So that's really hauling. Now, let's go downstream, and let's take a look at the ballistic gel and see what we did here. All right, you can see where the bullet impacted here in the ballistic gel. Again, we're talking 10% ballistic gel. You can see it stopped right there. There's a little bit of the brazance right here. The force of the bullet pushed uh, a little bit of a tunnel in the ballistic gel. But you can see how that worked there. So that tells you that if you fire the 5-7 uh, round at this distance, we're at about 15 feet. If you fire at this distance, that's how far the actual bullet, the actual projectile would go into the human body approximately. Now, to make the point here, uh, we're going to come back out and we're going to shoot again, but this time we're going to shoot the Ruger 5.7. Now, this is a carbine, okay, so it's got a lot longer barrel, but it's the same ammo. So, Nick, come on up. We're just going to shoot one round, and we'll take a look and see what we've got here. And we'll compare the speed of the carbine with the handgun, and we'll see what difference it makes in the ballistic gel. Okay, and this one was about a uh, 1967 feet per second, so considerably faster. Let's go take a look at our ballistic gel now. The range is clear. And you can see we went a little bit further. Nick put, did a great job. He hit the, almost the same spot here uh, as we previously hit, so, but it did force the, the uh, impact down just a little bit further. Great camera work there by, by our camera operator. All right, so there you go. That's today's lesson. We're talking about the brand new 5.7 by Smith & Wesson. These are great guns. We've just got these in. Uh, the patent was just released back in January when they were showing these at SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Great gun for 5.7. Now, the good news is uh, originally, you know, the 5.7 was created by FN Herstal in Belgium back in the 80s to sell to about 50 countries for police and military use. Okay, great. As uh, the bullet, of course, is very expensive because very few of them are produced by only FN. 
Well, time goes by, Federal started producing them, and now Fiocchi has started producing them. So the price of the bullets is starting to come down because more guns are being made available and more manufacturers are producing the ammo. So the price of the ammo, which used to be about a dollar a round, is coming on down now because of that. So that's a good thing. All right, thanks for watching Firearms Friday here at Larry's Pistol and Pawn. Be sure and come by and shoot with us. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 till 6, Saturday 9 till 4. There is no range at the West store, but you can buy stuff there and come over here and shoot it. All right, you guys take care, stay safe, and stay armed. Bye-bye.